In this video, we will discuss how to solve titration math. Now, a titration is used to figure out the concentration of an unknown, and so with acids and bases, the ratio between acid, the acid and the base is generally always one to one, and so what you end up getting is you could say the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid equals the molarity of the base times the volume of the base, and if I say molarity equals moles divided by liters, and I take liters times molarity, that equals moles. So what this equation is saying, the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base. Okay, that's what this equation is kind of saying. So let's go through and we're gonna do some examples and I'm gonna go a little bit backwards. I'm gonna start with example number three. And in example number three, we are asked, what volume of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide is required for a titration of 25 mils of 0.833 molar acetic acid. So I'm gonna say MAVA equals MV, or uh, MB, not V, MBVB. The molarity of the acid is 0 0.833 molar. The volume of the acid is 25.0 milliliters. The molarity of the base is 0 0.200 molar and so the volume of the base that I need to solve for is just a little bit of math and um, because this is milliliters when I solve for the volume of base it'll also be milliliters so I'll get 104.13 milliliters okay that's probably as easy as it gets in number two I am given a reaction and I want to know what volume of HNO3 in milliliters is required to titrate 37 milliliters of nine molar barium hydroxide. So again, it's gonna be MAVA equals MBVB. The molarity of my acid is 0 0.125 molar. I am solving for the volume of acid. The molarity of my base is kind of tricky here. Do you see how it's two hydroxides? So because it's two hydroxide, it's really 18 molar um, hydroxide and because the hydroxide is what makes this basic. So the molarity of the base is 18 molar. The volume of the base is 37.0 milliliters. And so when I solve out for VA, I'm gonna end up with 5328 milliliters, which is what it asks for or 5.328 liters. Okay, in number one, we are given 0.128 molar HCl, and we're trying to titrate 1.33 grams of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so MAVA equals MBVB, and um, the molarity of my acid is 0.812 molar. The volume of my acid is unknown, and you may notice that they don't give us a molarity or volume of the base. But if I remember, molarity times volume is moles. Okay, so that'll be moles of base. So all I have to do is take 1.33 grams of NaOH. There's 40.00 grams of NaOH in one mole of NaOH, and so that actually equals 0.03325 moles. So when I solve for my volume of acid, I get 0 0.0409 liters, because if I'm dealing with moles and molarity, then my volume needs to be in liters. The only time where it'll be milliliters is if I have milliliters on one side and I'm solving for volume on the other side. Okay, so those are kind of the easy titration math problems. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work through one uh, complicated math problem where I think it's only complicated at a couple parts um, in the problem. And so we can go ahead and move down to number four. And what we have is we're trying to calculate the initial pH pH at the halfway point, and I don't think those two are terrible, the pH at the equivalence point, and then the pH after we add 250 milliliters of titrant. 
We begin with 100 milliliters of benzoic acid, which is HC7H5O2, and we're going to titrate it with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. So if I want to know the initial pH, that is before I've titrated it with anything. And so I can just say HC7H5O2 plus HOH goes to C7H5O2 with minus one charge plus OH or plus H3O plus one. That's my bad. Aqueous, aqueous, liquid, aqueous. Set up a rice table. The initial concentration of benzoic acid is 0 0.10 molar. Water is just an X, zero and zero, minus X, plus X, plus X, 0 0.10 minus X, X and X. So I can say Ka is equal to C7H5O2 minus one times H3O plus one divided by HC7H5O2, which equals x times x, which is x squared, divided by 0 0.10 minus x. And that equals Ka. And yep, they do give us Ka 6.4 times 10 to the minus 5. 5% 5 rule says I can get rid of a minus x, so long as there's still an x there. And when I get x, x for this problem is 2.53 times 10 to the minus third. pH equals negative log concentration of H plus. So the pH equals the negative log of 2.53 times 10 to the minus third. And I know that'll be a little bit lower than three because that's what the exponent is. And so I get 2.60. Okay, nothing new in that problem. Now, in B, it says the pH at the halfway point. Well, if I remember from a titration uh, that the pH at the halfway point is equal to the pKa, and that's because the concentration of conjugate base and of acid still remaining are equal. And so the pH equals just the negative log of the Ka. So pH equals minus log of what was the Ka? 6.4 times 10 to the minus 5. And so the pH should be higher because I've added some sodium hydroxide. And um, it is, it is 4.19 molar. Or gosh, no, no units on pH. Okay. Now here are, is where I think things get a little bit more complicated. My pH at the equivalence point, that is where moles of acid equal moles of base. And what I can say is that HC7H5O2 plus NaOH, they will both be limiting reactants, okay, because we're going to react them completely. And they will give me the conjugate base sodium uh, benzoate NaC7H5O2 plus just water. And if I go back, um, what I need to figure out is I want to do MAVA equals MBVB because um, I'm going to need that math. Let me explain why. My acid is going to completely react. Okay, so that's going to no longer be contributing to the pH. My base is going to completely react, and that's going to no longer be com contributing to the pH. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to have my uh, sodium benzoate that's formed and my water. My water is not going to contribute uh, to the pH in any sort of meaningful way. So what ends up happening is the pH is going to be based on this sodium benzoate. And sodium benzoate is going to go and react with water. And this is going to be the reverse reaction. 
Okay, it is a weak base. And so it's going to react a little bit. What's going to happen is I'm going to produce a little bit more of my acid. And some hydroxide. Okay, and that hydroxide is going to impact my pH. I need to set up a rice table here. But the very first thing I need to do is I need to figure out what is the concentration of this sodium benzoate. So if I scroll back up, the concentration of sodium hydroxide was 0.1. Same with uh, benzoic acid. And I had 100 milliliters of benzoic acid. It was 0 0.1, 0 molar. And so my um, volume of my base is going to be 100 milliliters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many moles of sodium benzoate are going to be formed. Both my benzoic acid and my sodium hydroxide are limiting reactants because moles of acid equal moles of base at the equivalence point. So what I can do is I can say, okay, molarity equals moles over liters. I'm going to pick my acid and even though it's the same numbers, 0.1 equals x moles of acid divided by 0.1 liters. And what I end up with is I had 0 0.01 moles of HC7H5O2 used. So one mole of HC7H5O2 is equal to one mole of NaC7H5O2. Two. So I end up with 0 0.01 moles. But to plug into my rice table, I need to divide it by the liters, which will be 0 0.2 liters now. Okay, because 100 milliliters uh, plus 100 milliliters, the volume's now double or at 200 milliliters. And that is what's hard about this. The rest of this should be no big deal. This will be 0.5 um, or 0 0.05. Molar water will be x. This will be 0. This will be 0. All minus x plus x plus x. 0 0.5 minus x. x and x. So now I just need to set up a k expression and solve for x. K is equal to HC7H5O2 times hydroxide divided by NaC7H5O2, which is equal to X squared divided by 0 0.05 minus X. And I've got to decide, is this equal to Ka or Kb? And the answer is we form a hydroxide, so it must be Kb. Um, so let me do this math really quickly. Kw equals Ka times Kb. 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 equals Ka, which was given. That was given at 6.7 times 10 to the minus 5 times Kb, which is what we're trying to solve for. And so Kb actually... When I do this math, I get 1.49 times 10 to the minus 10. So now I can get rid of some of this. Okay. I can use the 5% rule to get rid of minus x. And x, when I simplify, is going to be equal to 2.73 times 10 to the minus 6. If I take the negative log of that, because X equals hydroxide, that'll be pOH. So the pOH equals the negative log of 2.73 times 10 to the minus 6. And that will give me a pOH of 5.36. And that is a pH of 8.44, which is what we should expect 
we took a weak acid and a strong base and we titrated it. And at the equivalence point, we should expect a pH greater than 7, and that is what we got. Now, the last thing we'll solve here is a pH after 250 milliliters of NaOH is added. So what I know is that MaVa equals MbVb at the equivalence point, which is not where we're at right now. But I had 0.1 molar acid, I had 100 milliliters, and when I solved for the volume of base, VB was 100 milliliters. So what I know is that if I add 250 milliliters of NaOH, which is what this part of the problem says, 100 milliliters is actually going to get reacted. So that's going to leave 150 milliliters of NaOH unreacted. Okay, so what I can do is say, well, that sodium hydroxide is getting diluted essentially. M1V1 equals M2V2. The molarity originally was 0.1 molar, and um, out of that, 150 is essentially what's getting used, or not, not used. We're trying to figure out the new molarity, and the final volume, if we started with 100 of the acid, we add 250 milliliters of the base, my final volume is 350 milliliters. So my new molarity is going to be 0.1 times 150 divided by 350, 0 0.0429 molar. And if I take the negative log of that, that will be the pH, or the pOH, excuse me, 0 0.0429 and my pOH is going to be 1.37. So my pH, if I subtract 14, or I, if I subtract 1.37 from 14, I will get 12.63, which is exactly what we would expect. A very high pH of a whole bunch of base is excess.